Hi guys, so this is like gonna be a hair, not tutorial because I've done it already, but a hair discussion. I chopped my hair off, it was super long, like below here down, and I chopped it to like here, um, like a little, like over like m maybe a month and a half ago, and I've been freaking out. Like some days I love it, I still, I do still love it, the short hair, but it's just. I feel like more upkeep you have to like style it every day and I'm like oh my god I just wish I wanted to grow a little bit longer like I feel I don't feel like girly some days like I, I love my long hair like it I've never had like short short hair so I've been googling and on YouTube and trying to see what you can do for your hair to make it grow which is nothing supposedly but there's a few things out there that can help the health of your hair which can help it grow now when it was long I always had it bleached and blonde and it was dry and I would wash it like every three days I could even do four days because it was so dry and angry at me for bleaching it so much that I didn't need to and I would just throw it up and just the oils were good for it and it was like good for my hair now it's so short and I like have my brown like almost my natural color it looks really dark right now because there's so much oil in it um, but now in like two days I'm like I look like a grease ball and I'm like oh my god I have to like wash my hair all the time so so many things change when you cut your hair off but one of the biggest things that I've heard was biotin um my sister actually got me this for like Christmas and I never used it but I was saying that I wanted like a hair skin and nails biotin formula so this is actually a thousand micrograms but it tells you to take it three times a day so that would become 300 micrograms of biotin a day I've been taking it religiously for probably like two weeks now um, and I don't particularly notice anything I keep checking my nails because people are like your nails will grow like crazy um, I don't know I haven't had that yet maybe I know it takes a while for supplements to kick in. It's not like, oh my god, you're going to wake up and you're going to be Rapunzel and you're going to have nails out to here. But, I mean, you know what? It can't hurt. But then I also heard that this can make you break out if you start taking too much, whatever. So people said, buy a zinc supplement. And I was looking for, like, the organic, all-natural, like, good ones. And, of course, they were sold out because they were on sale. So I ended up getting, like, generic Target blah, blah, blah brand, which is fine, whatever. But I took it the other day. I guess I didn't eat enough with it and it just made me so nauseous, so nauseous. Make sure you eat when you take this because you will just feel like crap. Um, but I kind of take this like every other day just in case because my skin has already been crazy anyway from stress. So I'm not trying to make it any worse. Hello. Then I saw a couple other YouTube videos and the biggest thing that the one girl a couple of people have been using was castor oil and sweet almond oil so I went to the local health food store and they have like a million oils almond coconut um, olive like everything and they even have like a bunch of pre-mixed ones but I just heard that there was like a bunch of fragrance like it smelled like if I doused my hair in that I would like throw up from the smell so I just got like the two regular ones. This one is was five fifty for the little bottle, and this one was six for the little bottle. And I just did it once, and I've only used like this much and that much, and I didn't even go through the whole thing. So what I did was just like they, um, the video showed, I bought this little spray bottle from Shoprite. I think it was in like the travel section, the little where they have like all the minis. I put a little bit of the um the castor a little bit of the almond and I actually have sorry I totally forgot to grab it I had a coconut oil already that I kind of used sometimes um and this is like it's hard at room temp but it literally like melts in your hand it melts really well this was eight dollars from TJ Maxx so I mixed like a third of each of them I guess I sat this down in um hot like not hot water but like hot tap water for a little bit until the coconut oil melted and I went through my hair in sections. I started at the bottom and I just spritzed the roots and massaged it. And you have to massage it in with your fingers. Um, I went all the way up, just 
going in sections like how you would curl your hair. Making sure to like get as much in as the scalp and then I combed it through with my big brush. I just combed it through the whole thing and just like put my head upside down and tried to like get it in as many crevices of my scalp as I could because I have dry scalp. It gets dry, my hair is oily and my scalp is dry. I don't understand it, it doesn't make sense. I wish some of the oil that's all over here would go into my scalp. Um, I was at CVS the other day and I was looking for like a good moisturizing shampoo. And I actually found this. I was looking for like something natural that didn't have a lot of like sulfates and all these ingredients and I found this and this is awesome. It smells really good and I can use this shampoo as a shampoo and conditioner. Like it's so moisturizing that you don't need conditioner and I would die without conditioner. Like I use when most of the time. Uh, my hair is just loves conditioner. But the thing is, my scalp gets dry after I use it. Like, I don't get it. It's got sea kelp, argan oil, shea butter, no sulfates, no parabens, no mineral oil, no blah blah blah. Like, the ingredients are all things you can read. Water, sugar beets, shea butter, aloe vera leaf juice, argan oil, provitamin B5, rosemary extract, sea kelp extract, vitamin E, honeysuckle, and Japanese honeysuckle flower extract, extract and avocado oil. There's no chemicals in this at all. Like, love, love, love that. Like, I love blush. I love natural things. I try to do as natural as I can. Um, so I do recommend this. I know there's a conditioner that comes with it. I didn't get it. Um, but my scalp. So I'm hoping that this oil, it's good for hair health. It's good for hair growth. But also, if you have dry scalp, I know I should put have been putting oil anyway so I'm gonna to try to do this like once a week minimum I'm gonna leave this in my hair I just had it up in like a clippy I'm gonna to try to leave it in my hair like a couple hours like I'm gonna work out and do whatever and then I have like dinner with friends later so I'll just like take a shower and then you have to like really scrub it out like I've done oil before really scrub it out like get a good like clarifying it doesn't have to be like clarifying but a good shampoo because otherwise you're just going to be a grease ball when you rake it out of the shower. Like, try to make sure you rinse really, really well. You probably don't even need a conditioner um, after you do this. So I just wanted to let you know what I'm trying. I'll, up, I'll post an update. I really want my hair to grow. I have my nursing school graduation in a month. Pray that I pass the final. Knock on wood. Um, and I wanted to just have it a little bit longer to, like, do something cute with it. So um, if you have any suggestions, advice, if any of this stuff worked for you, if it didn't work for you, if you like any of these products or have any recommendations or anything, write a comment below, like it, subscribe, and I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.